This is my favorite way to start a day. Just sitting out here on my back patio, enjoying the silence of the morning. Look, you can even see a star up there. It is gonna be an absolutely gorgeous day. Guess what we're gonna do today? We're gonna start our day off by going out and doing a quick dive with Pablo. We're gonna go out and dive the shipwreck. Of course, I'm gonna video it, post it on YouTube so you guys can experience it as well. FYI, my neighbors next door, I think they think I'm crazy. They hear me over here talking. They don't know I'm making videos. They're like, that guy talks to himself a lot. Yeah, I know. I think he, I think he drinks a lot also. Wow, we should probably call somebody and get him some help. Oh, so we transitioned from the tranquility of the backyard to downtown Sosua at 8 a.m. with moto conchos already zipping around. They don't even sound like motorcycles. They sound like someone's old weed whacker. <laughs> you see how I negotiate these stairs. I've got a camera in one hand, coffee in the other, and a bunch of dive equipment over my other shoulder. By the way, if you are new to the channel, welcome to Whiskey and Rum. It is this point that I have to beg you, please hit the subscribe button, hit notifications, all of those things. Join the family. You're going to like it here. What else are you going to watch on YouTube? Come on. Okay, so the plan today is to go out and dive the Zingara wreck. Now, this is an artificial reef. It was intentionally sunk back in, I believe, 91, 92. 110 feet long. I got to go back and check the specifics, but I'm close on all of that. I promise you. So here's the kicker. This, sorry, I had to cut the camera there. We had a minor catastrophe. I got sideswiped by a moto, spilt my coffee all over the place, went into a mini temper tantrum, but we're all cool and collected now. Breathe deeply. Mm. All right, where was I? All right, so there is a kicker about getting out to this wreck. It is around the point, and if you're not out there early, the wind picks up, it gets rough, it's not fun. So if you're gonna do this dive, Pablo says get here at nine, get here at 8.45. Do not be the last one here or you will be left standing on the beach. So I'm here nice and early. This is how this is gonna go down. They're gonna load all of us into a boat. They're gonna go around the bend. It's gonna take about 10 minutes, maybe 15 to get to the wreck. We're gonna tie up, we're gonna drop in the water, we're gonna go down, have a great scuba dive. No problems, no issues. This is gonna be a blast. Fingers crossed, knock on wood, everybody say a prayer. Now I'm only doing one dive today because honestly, I should be at home packing for Thailand, getting the bar ready for my extended absence. I should not be out playing, but the inner child in me says, fuck it, let's go. I did a video a while back. I originally titled it Going Deep in Sosua. YouTube did not like that title, so I had to change it. I'll put the link up here. That's got more diving video in it, but we've rebranded the site, so we need a new diving video for whiskey and rum. As always, with all of my videos, if you go into the description, there's gonna be links for everything. I'm gonna put Pablo's Dive Shop, Aqua Adventures, you're in town, you wanna to go diving, contact these guys. Trust me, you will not regret it. They're gonna take fantastic care of you. And he's one of my buddies. So help him out, give him some business. I found my Nitrox card. Well, my GoPro's working, that's a good sign. All right, Team Zizu, let's go do this. By the way, if you get that movie reference, you immediately go straight to the best friend list, one of my favorite movies of all time. Steve, how you feeling? I'm right on the edge. <laughs> First one that puts that movie down in the comments gets a free beer at Malibu's. You grew up during the Jacques Cousteau age, you would have to love that movie. All right, so we're gonna get on the boat, go out. Obviously, there's not gonna be much commentary because I can't speak while I'm underwater, but I'll come back and add some narration if there's anything I need to point out. Basically, Pablo. 
Pablo and I are fat. Let me explain how this works. So those floating milk jugs, there's a line attached to them. That line goes down about 98 feet and it's attached to the top of the rack. So we're gonna swim over, we're gonna grab onto that line, we're gonna follow it straight down and eventually a shipwreck will appear. First two things I want to point out. A, I trimmed about 30 seconds of video off of that descent. I figured you guys would get bored to death and click off the video, but we made it down. Look, the visibility today is not great. Normally the water is a lot clearer, but there's a little bit of current running through. We've had a lot of rain over the last two weeks, so it is what it is. Still, it's a shipwreck in the ocean and it's a hundred feet below the surface. Pretty fucking cool. few things to add. First and foremost, I'm being extremely careful as I swim around this wreck not to brush up against any of these corals or sponges. It takes decades for these things to grow, and I, I don't want to wipe anybody out. And that's easier said than done. Remember, there's a little bit of current. There's always some motion in the water, and I got about 50 pounds of gear on my back. Second thing, I'm using my old GoPro. I didn't want to bring any of the new cameras because... We're getting ready to go to Thailand. There is not a best buy in my future. So if I have any whammies, I lose anything, I want it to be the old camera. So the motion stabilization on this camera sucks. If I'm getting anybody seasick, I apologize. Hold up. Let me introduce you guys to a lionfish. Absolutely beautiful fish. Also, absolutely venomous. You get stung by this bastard, you're going to regret it. They are also not indigenous to the Caribbean. This is an invasive species. They're not supposed to be here. No natural predators, and they wreak havoc on the ecosystem of the reef. Bad news. The good news is, is that Pablo's got a spear gun, and this particular lionfish, well, his minutes are numbered.
fiercest predator in the ocean, shark, killer whale, not today. Today, it's Pablo, and he's already got one lionfish on that spear shaft. Looks like he's going for a happy hour. Nice shooting, Tex. I'm gonna do a flyover here. So we're gonna swim over top of the bow and work our way all the way back to the stern. This ship was sunk intentionally. It was cleaned up. It was towed to this specific spot. It was scuttled. And now it's become an artificial reef. And look at all of the organisms that are growing and living around this wreck. It's amazing. Obviously, this is the engine room that we're swimming down to, and then we're going to come up and out of the stern crew quarters. A little spooky, right? Obviously, I had an equipment failure with my buoyancy compensator. Now, if you're going to have an equipment failure at 100 feet, that would be the problem that you'd want to have. It's not life-threatening. I can drop a little bit of weight if I need to on the ascent. But honestly, this doesn't bother me in the least bit. We're fine. <laughs> Carry on. Dive computer is telling us it is time to go. Our bottom time is all used up. So we are going to do a slow burn up to the top, three minute safety stop, and back into the boat. Listen, look at the stuff I do for you guys. You don't hit the subscribe button now. I don't know, I think we're done. Honey, 
the neighbor's out there talking to himself in the backyard again. All right, you guys, that dive yesterday was fantastic. It's another beautiful morning here in the DR, but I'm gonna, I've got one quick story I want to tell you before we kick out of here. So I think it was just like a week after Christmas, a guy came down into Malibu's and he's standing at the bar and he goes, hey, Danny, I saw the video you did about diving. I want to go do the wreck dive. Yeah, buddy. All right, come on. I'll take you down to Pablo, introduce you. He'll get you out on the wreck. Cool, cool. Listen, I just got one question. Yeah. So will he teach me how to use the equipment? Whoa, hold on there, cowboy. Uh, there's a little bit of training required before you go jumping off a boat and submerging yourself in 100 feet of water on a shipwreck. And as you guys just saw, equipment failures happens. It takes a lot of training to teach you how to deal with those issues so you don't freak out and go and drown yourself. If you're interested in learning how to scuba dive, contact Aqua Adventures. Pablo's contact information is in the description. Get with them and they'll set you up with courses. You can even do some of your training before you get down here so that you're ready to roll. Wow, another fantastic video from Whiskey and Rum. I sure do love this channel. I am going to share it with all of my friends. I'm gonna share it with people I don't like. I'm gonna subscribe, I'm gonna hit the like button. Hint, 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 click, click, click. Somebody grab me a beer because I am out of here.